Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is going to be a little bit different uh, than the videos I have posted the last couple of weeks. Um, I just had some things on my mind and I kind of wanted to, to talk to you guys about them and see if I could just get some things off my chest. So I'm going to start out by talking about what I'm feeling and something I've gone through this week and then I'm going to end the video on a happy note and show you the new Violet Voss Laura Lee palette that I got today. So I wanted to just first start by explaining what happened and what I've gone through and then end on a high note. So if you're interested in this video then you can go ahead and keep watching and if you just want to see the first impression or swatches of the Laura Lee palette I will go ahead and put a timestamp right here with when that part starts but please don't forget to subscribe and to like this video if you're interested in hearing more about my thoughts and what I'm going through and advice on some things that I have had to feel for the very first time ever in my teaching career. Please don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Say, hey, how you doing? I've gone through the same thing. Just, just to kind of check in so I can meet you guys and really get a handle on who my subscribers are. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this video going, but again, if you are interested in hearing about forgiveness and the importance of forgiveness and how I forgave someone who completely took me for a loop, then please just keep watching. Okay guys, so I have posted on my Instagram and on my Snapchat and my Facebook about an incident that happened to me last Wednesday. And I don't want to get into too many details. I don't want to get into a lot of the the specifics because I, I'm still kind of going through just shock myself. But long story short, last Wednesday, I, you know, f felt something that I have never felt. Um, I took my students to the computer lab to work on an essay and unknowingly and completely mistakenly, totally I take the blame for this, I left my door unlocked thinking that I locked it. So in the time period that we were in the lab um, until the bell rang for the next class, about 30 minutes. I had money stolen from my wallet um, inside my classroom. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't want to get into to too many specifics. This, this uh, video is more going to be about forgiveness and how I forgave this particular student, but I was shocked and beyond belief and I couldn't even wrap my head around the fact that one of my babies my, my babies did that to me and I couldn't I was so emotional over it and distraught and it just ripped me up inside so um, a lot of things transpired and a lot of investigation was done by myself and by my administration at my school bless their hearts and we came to the conclusion that we knew who the student was because there was a lot of evidence pointing to this particular student. Um, about a week went by today um, and I, um, I just, I don't know. I mean, I don't even remember some of the things that happened or how, how the end result came to be this one, but I did get my money back today. It was slipped under my door in an envelope. Um, the student who decided that it was a good choice to steal from a teacher had his conscience get the better of him and he just decided to make the best choice he could out of the situation and try to 
make it better. Now granted, I'm very grateful that I got my money back and I'm very grateful that he did what he did. It was, it was very courageous. Um, but in the interim, in that week that this was happening and knowing that, that this student was involved, 100%, no doubt in my mind knowing, I still had to teach him. He was still coming to my classroom. I still had to look at him every day or the days that I had him and be okay with the fact that I knew that he stole from me. Now how I did that, I think just putting my faith in, in something and knowing that I still had compassion for the student and had understanding for the student and I, um, I just lived through that the, during the time that I, I saw him um, the last couple of class periods. Uh, again, there are some details I want to leave out because I don't, out of respect for him and for his family and for my school, I don't want to put any of the details on, on, on my channel. But there were some things that transpired in between last Wednesday and this Wednesday in order to, uh, you know, how my money was returned back to me. There were some things that happened in between there and, he, you know, he heard some things from other students and from me and just a lot of, of um, conversations happened and a lot of, you know, students, bless their hearts, I love you all so much, sticking up for me and, and loving me and being there for me and supporting me. Um, eventually, I think he just realized that I had so much love and support um, and probably I would imagine his guilt and his conscience got to him in the end and he decided it was a better choice to come forward. I don't think originally he had planned to come forward once he returned the money because he thought, okay, once I return the money, that's it, it's over. But I knew that in my heart, I couldn't let it be over with just that. And for his sake as well, I didn't want him to just let it be over. I wanted him to know what he did. I wanted an apology. I wanted him to recognize what he did was wrong. So eventually he came forward today. He came forward and he explained everything and he came clean about everything. And um, I told him, thank you. I appreciate that he did that and I forgave him essentially. We went to the office and things were taken care of and now it's in their hands and they'll handle it from here. But the one thing I did want him to know, and I want all of you to know who are watching this, and I know this might not make you all happy or you might not understand it, but it's just the way my heart is and it's just the way that my daddy raised me. I forgave him. I forgave him. I forgave him because I had to. I don't want anything eating my soul or blocking my soul or making my life have a negative energy or a negative way. I want to have as much peace as possible. So it was important for me, for myself, and for him to know what he did was wrong and that he hurt me and that he completely violated me and took away every ounce of trust that I have for him and for some other students that I have a feeling were involved. But I still forgave him because I feel like he has suffered enough knowing that what he did was wrong and he feels guilty, you guys. I could see it on his face. At the end of the day, I have to be able to sleep at night and I have to be able to live right. And if I continued on not forgiving him and being mad about over, you know, being mad about it and stewing over it and just, you know, screw this and screw that and I'll never, that's not good for anybody. And I am so grateful that he 
decided to return the money to me and that he made that decision and that choice because that to me spoke volumes for the kind of student that he wants to be the kind of young man that he that he should be and that he probably is but he made a poor choice everybody has made a poor choice we are all human we all make mistakes if we were not human and did not make mistakes then this world would not be full of learning experiences and this world would not be full of people growing and changing and that is what life is about it's about growing and changing and finding the better in yourself and in order for me to do that for myself I had to help him do it for him and I had to let him know that I forgive him because I want him to be able to make a better choice next time and know that that taking money from someone taking anything from someone or you know violating someone or disregarding their feelings it's not only about him or me it's about the morals behind it it's about learning ethics it's about learning to be a good a good young man and that's my job as a teacher I'm not only there to teach English or to teach these kids grammar skills or writing skills, but I'm also there to be a mentor. And I'm there to love them and to guide them and to teach them how to be good young people. And I couldn't do that, honestly, and look them in the faces if I couldn't or didn't forgive him. I am okay with the fact that this happened to me for, you know, for the simple fact that it was a learning process for me about trust and honesty and seeing how good people can truly be because out of all of this I saw good in a lot of my students their hearts were full of compassion for me and love for me and they just wanted the best for me and they wanted to find out who did it because they have so much love for me and that is such a strong connection in, in no other job could I build that kind of relationship. And I am so lucky to be the, the, the teacher I am and have the job that I have and the kids that I have who I love with my heart and my soul and every bit of who I am. And I am so grateful to have this job. <laughs> and to have the love that I have every day. I'm so grateful. And I love you all so much. So I hope you all understand why I have to let this go and why I have to be able to forgive him. And I hope that someday in your hearts those of you who were furious will forgive him too and I know that that may be a tall order of me to ask of you but just show the same compassion to him that you did to me when I was going through this you are all such wonderful people and I know that I'm doing something right by having all of you there for me. And to the young man who decided that it was a good choice to do what he did and who made a mistake because he's human, I forgive you. So that's that. That's that's all I can tell you. I wish that I could tell you more. I wish that I could give you the details, but I don't want to blast him or ruin his life or drag his name through the mud. I have every right to, every right. But as a teacher, 
I have a moral high ground that I have to stand by. And I have to be honorable and kind. And I'm okay with that. So, if you are interested in the rest of this video in learning about the Violet Voss Laura Lee palette, please go ahead and keep watching. Okay guys, so I ordered this Laura Lee Violet Voss palette. Um, well, this is by the Violet Voss and then Laura Lee did a collaboration. So Laura Lee is a YouTuber and she did a collaboration with um, Violet Voss on this palette and she's so wonderful and so kind and so empathetic and forgiving and I just really envy her. So I felt like this was so fitting for this video because one of the reasons why I ordered this is because of the kind of person she is and I strive to be like this young lady and she's just so beautiful and so kind. So the back of it says, hey guys, thank you so much for being a part of this palette with me. I've worked so hard creating the perfect go-to palette with a little sass. This palette is a dream come true and I couldn't be happier with the outcome. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do, XO Larly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the palette and then maybe I'll do just a couple swatches. I will go ahead and insert in this video at the end, I will go ahead and insert the, the swatches of the entire um, palette and then insert the names of the colors so you guys can see. But I'll do some light swatches right now as well. So this is the, it comes with a little plastic guy. This is the palette here. These are the colors. So the little mirror. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mattes and a lot of shimmers. We have like one, two, three, four, five, five shimmers and then like three really intense, um, I'd say like, like duo chrome or like pigments, pressed pigments, but the palette is just so beautiful and it's holographic and it's got her little watermark on the front and on the back. I just love it, I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some live swatches and then at the end of this video I will go ahead and insert pictures of the whole palette and give you guys the names of each color. What I think is cool about this palette is that um, you know, she had 100% creative liberty. She took everything she wanted to put in this palette and she made it her own. And I thought that was just so amazing. Uh, this palette, I believe on LadyMoss.com right now, it's on sale for $39.99, but it is sold out. I did get mine from the Violet Boss website. It's a little bit more. I believe it's $45 or $50. I can't quite remember, but I'll post the information um, right here. Okay, so I am going to swatch just a couple and then again insert some pictures. So I'm going to swatch Fleeky, this color right here, just to kind of see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, you guys. So that's Fleeky. Look at that pigment. Holy moly. You guys can see that? And then let's do Biddy. Wow, that's Biddy right here. Um, and then we'll do maybe like, I don't know. I'll do Ragamuffin, which is a matte. That's a matte. And this is like the first time I'm swatching it, you guys. It's like an unboxing review for me. So I'm like, oh my gosh. And then this is Alabama. It's just like, a, like an orangey brown. They're really pretty. And then I'll do, um, let's do Smashly on my thumb. And then that's Smashly. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's ridiculous. Let's look on the arm. Jeez. They all swatch like beautifully. Hold on. I don't know. Like Fleeky's a little glit, like a little chunky, but I kind of like that. So there, you guys can see it better there. So I'll insert um, again some pictures that tells you what these names are, but you can just see that the pigmentation is amazing on these. So I'll show you one more time 
close up of the colors so you guys can see and then I'll take some pictures of the palette and insert it in the video. And again, I did just want to go ahead and insert this because I felt like I didn't want this entire video to be like Debbie Downer. You know, I wanted to express what I was feeling and to let you know that I had a rough week and then I wanted to show something that made me really happy and something that I just had been waiting for and someone who inspires me to be forgiving and someone who inspires me to be just happy and energetic and positive and I felt like it was really fitting to do this and I didn't I wanted to do an entire video video designated to it but I think this weekend I'm going to do a tutorial with it and that is going to make me so happy um, anyway, if you're interested in these swatches or you're interested in pictures of the palette close up, go ahead and continue watching right now. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you listened to what I had to say and that you really were able to understand how I feel and why I was able to forgive this student and why it's so important to me to live positively and to live right and to live with forgiveness in my heart. I think it's so important as human beings to know that we do all make mistakes and we do make poor choices. And you know, I'm not saying that you all have to forgive him. I'm not saying that if this ever happens to you or something like this happens to you, that you have to take the same road that I did. We all have our rights. We all have every reason to never forgive a person who violates us or who disrespects us by any means. But this was just my choice and it's what I decided because it's the way that I want to live my life. I'm so grateful that you guys are with me. I'm so grateful to all of my subscribers. I'm so grateful that you guys have hung out with me and that you've made this channel grow. And it's just fantastic. It's a fantastic feeling to know that I have support out there and to know that I have people who really enjoy watching me on camera. That just means the world to me. I appreciate it so much, you guys. I am so excited to continue this journey and you can go ahead and look for a tutorial with that Laura Lee palette. I also have some other things coming up that I think you're really going to like. I'm going to be posting a vanity room tour, like a makeup room tour. I think that'll probably be up before this video, so go ahead and check that out. And then I'm going to be posting some vlogs and then I think I'm going to go ahead and do like um, a questions tag, like meet me questions tag or some questions about me that you can ask, maybe like have you send some to my... Instagram or to my Twitter. I don't know. We'll see. So that's it. That's all I got to say, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a like. Leave me a comment down below saying, hey, what's up? How are you? And I really do look forward to talking to you soon. Remember, guys, don't ever let anybody tell you that you have to be something that you don't want to be. Thanks so much. Have a great night, y'all.